Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with okay. the shoe. Back to another beer review. Uh, tonight we're checking out one of the latest releases from Stone. Uh, from their Spotlight series. This is Drew and Steve's Imperial Mutt Brown Ale. Um, this is a 9% alcohol by volume Imperial Brown Ale. Um, I guess brewed in the English style, I think is what they said. There's a whole ton of text on the back of this bottle that I'm not gonna bore all you guys with. Um, it says, given fullness and layers of flavor from Vienna Victory and chocolate wheat malts uh, and refined sweetness from honey malt and sugar it's a rich smooth beer brewed with the respect with respect to traditional english methods um truth be told i'm not a big brown ale guy i remember uh in high school somebody gave me a newcastle and i thought it was like one of the worst things ever but that was before <laughs> that's like when you're trying to like you know be cool and drink beer at parties um i thought it was horrible and then years later i tried it again and i didn't mind it um, but as far as like browns and nut browns and all that, I just, I don't drink a whole lot of them for whatever reason. I don't know why. My dad loves brown ales, which is weird. I, I don't know why he likes them so much. He's just, he's a big brown ale person. So, um, wanted to pick this one up. I mean, Stone's local to me. I support them. I think they make awesome beers, um, and figured we would, uh, we would make a review on this one. This just came out, I think it might've been, it was either this past Tuesday or last Thursday. So this... As far as like being out, and I don't know how we know what the distribution's like on this, but it's only been out, you know, about a week. So I don't think there's any reviews on this yet. I didn't even look it up on Beer Advocate or Rate Beer. Huge hiss on that bottle. Um, but yeah, local breweries, we uh, we support local craft beer. Isn't that right, DJ? Go ahead and give this one a pour. I don't think I've ever had like a nut or any kind of a brown ale that's this high in alcohol. This is 9%, so big, big beer. Uh, holding up to light, that is exactly what it says. It is dark, dark brown. Um, you get some light brown, light colors around the bottom of the glass, uh, but it's, it's actually pitch black, very opaque. You cannot see anything through that. So almost looks like a stout in the glass. Uh, about a half a finger of, it's like a khaki color, like an off-white head. Big soapy bubbles in the middle of that. It actually looks really, really good. <laughs> it's a good looking beer. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the aroma. Wow, very, uh, very roasty, very chocolatey. This smells um, like a porter or a stout to me. Um, those, it's very rich smelling. The chocolate notes are there. This kind of, if you've had uh, like breakfast stout, it reminds me a lot of that. That chocolate's big, big up front. You get that roasted, uh, there's like the, these coffee notes. This is crazy, it's, they're calling this a brown ale. It smells very much like a stout. Yeah, roast, for the, you know, dark roast, chocolate, a uh, little bit of coffee on the back end of that. But yeah, the, the nose in this is really, really chocolate forward. It smells great. So let's go ahead and uh, dig in, cheers. That's nice. That's really good. This is still cold and there is a little, that's kind of crazy, with 9%. There's a little bit of heat from the alcohol on the back end of that. But up front, uh, really chocolatey, very roasty, a little bit of coffee in there. Um, if somebody gave this to me and, and didn't tell me it was a brown ale, I would think that it was a stout. Um, or like a, a porter. There's like a, like a very, <coughs> excuse me, like a uh, like a woody note in there. That's tasty stuff though. Very, the mouth feels not incredibly um, thick or full, but it's very. Um, what's the best way to describe that? It's very rich tasting. Um, there's a good amount of bitterness on the finish of that, kind of like bitter chocolate. Um, but the chocolate and the dark roast and the coffee in there is great. I dig this beer. This beer's good. Maybe this will change my, uh, my mind on brown ales. Who knows? 
I just don't drink a lot of them for whatever reason. I like like big, you guys know that. I like that big, crazy, hoppy, juicy, citrus, way over the top West Coast style IPAs. But this is a good beer. Um, like I said, there's a little bit of warmth um, from the alcohol on the back end of that, which is, Stone's made bigger beers than this that don't taste boozy. It doesn't taste like crazy boozy. This doesn't taste like, you know, a ridiculous 19% beer from the brewery. Um, but there is just a little bit of heat on the back end of that. But other than that, I mean, this is a really, really easy drinking, very good brown ale. I dig it. That's good stuff. So yeah, that's Drew and Steve's Imperial Mutt Brown. Uh, out now, keep an eye out for it. As far as a rating, um, I mean, I would definitely drink this again. I'm gonna give this a 90. I mean, just comparing it to other browns that I've had, this is, I mean, one of the better brown ales I've had. Ale Smith makes a good nut brown, I have had that. Um, and I've also, I think, I think it was Ale Smith who did a collaboration with Cigar City on a brown ale that was really, really good. I actually got that, I got that bottle of beer for my dad for his birthday. And we shared it that night, and I, I remember enjoying that. But this gets an A- minus for me, a 90. Really, really good stuff. If you guys see it, and you're into, uh, I mean, if you're into uh, stouts and porters, definitely check this out, because it's really reminiscent of that for me. Another, uh, another winner from Stone. What can I say? They just make good beers. I know a lot of people have a lot of things to say about them, but I'm a Stone fan. It's local to me, and I like supporting them. So I'm going to wrap this one up, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I don't know if a lot of people have had this yet, but whenever you see this video, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Cheers.